What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees in this video here today. Hasn't been a minute, or I haven't talked about this in a minute, only because there's there's been nothing. But <laughs> just to jump on into it, this is coming to us from Bloody Disgusting, an article that was published today based off of some details that came out from CNN. Uh, further going into what we could get potentially from Victor Miller as it pertains to this split we know going on between him and Sean S. Cunningham and you know the fact that Miller has the has the rights and the ownership of the original screenplay but it doesn't mean he has authority he or that he does that he owns the character of adult Jason Voorhees as we know him uh and Miller's ownership of the work only covers domestic rights the franchise will remain dormant and then it goes on to say but what if anything can Miller do what if anything can Miller and his team do with with what they currently own? So a new report from CNN this afternoon got into it. Some of those details with Miller's legal team talking for the first time about what they can and very and very well might do or attempt to do. So Mark Toberoff, a Malibu copyright attorney who represents Victor Miller, tells CNN, "Now we can license a remake." prequel or even sequel motion pictures provided such films do not use any additional copyrightable elements in other words miller can only use elements from the original friday the 13th movie which of course doesn't include adult jason Voorhees. this means miller also can't use the iconic hockey mask even if it's worn by a different character and we've learned he doesn't actually own the title friday the 13th either we can't license we or we can license television series exploring crystal lake and how jason became who he is thank twin peaks or bates motel tomorrow muses throwing out possible ideas in other words miller only has young jason Voorhees at his disposal so he could theoretically work with filmmakers on a project involving jason's early years before the mask presumably he could also use the character of pamela Voorhees, the killer in the original film but the other major problem here is that miller only has the rights to the screenplay in the united states which means he can't make a movie with worldwide distribution miller has to convince a studio to make this thing that can only be distributed in the u.s and then a star from Friday the 13th Part 3, Shelly, Larry Zerner, who we know has been kind of being more detailed on what's going on for us idiots that aren't in the legal world. Uh, he told CNN, we, he told CNN, uh, he told CNN that last statement. He said that we can have this theoretical argument that you can do a movie that doesn't infringe on the rights of anyone else, but is anyone seriously going to do that without worldwide rights? I doubt it. As for what Sean Cunningham is able to do without Victor Miller, it would seem that he can't use Jason Voorhees without Miller's permission, which ties his hands quite a bit. I think for sure it will come back, but I can't tell you it will come back this year or next, and then he said will jason come back in theaters right now it's 50 50 so with them clearly still being at odds the idea that they or the potential ideas that were thrown out there a series where we see young jason Voorhees, see him bullied see pamela at the camp just seeing everything jason went through this could be like a limited series or maybe even a movie i guess you could do where pamela goes on a murderous rampage uh, or something that kind of builds into the start of the original Friday the 13th, starting all the way back with how Jason was bullied at, at the camp and going from there. Would you even want to see something like that? Would you want to see sequels to the original Friday the 13th where they are somehow able to create a villain that is not the iconic character of Jason Voorhees, the adult Jason with that hockey mask, but it's latched onto continuity with that original movie? Thus, I guess turning this into what halloween is a pick your own adventure type of thing you have a movie that's already associated with eight nine however many friday 13 movies there are you have that timeline and then you'd have a timeline where you have victor miller's original film and then any future motion pictures associated with that original film but they don't have adult jason Voorhees in it i don't know if anyone would actually be interested in seeing that and if I'm remembering correctly, didn't the CW turn down a Jason Voorhees series for Riverdale? I might be remembering this wrong, but I could have sworn at one point we were going to have a TV series for Friday the 13th that was related to the Jason story, Camp Crystal Lake, of course. So, you know, if they were to remake the movie, 
I think I've seen people talk about how they wouldn't mind a remake. I'm not saying I would be against a remake, but would you still just go ahead and make Pamela the killer? I think that would be the only disappointing aspect of it. The movie could still be done very well, but knowing that it's going to be Pamela Voorhees might just eliminate a lot of the suspense that people who are familiar with this IP might experience while watching it. We know what you're building to ensure the techniques and everything on display and on a technical, technical level will be good and the movie will still get positively reviewed. But for people who are Already know the outcome and that you're just retelling the story but might be or maybe doing it through a darker lens it's just not probably going to be that fulfilling it could still be a very engaging time but knowing it knowing it's pamela once again maybe you give pamela a sidekick maybe young jason is actually right there with her maybe they do something like that remaking the original movie and revealing that pamela she knew that jason was alive kept him hidden in that cabin in the woods for whatever reason and they actually work together to kill these counselors that are that are uh trying to reopen the camp throughout the years she's convinced this boy to live off in the cabin because of her own uh distaste towards her own son but also she wants to punish those who led to him having to run away uh as she maybe deems herself it could be another interesting thing to explore where you add a young child as an accomplice to his mother and you have young Jason and his mother trying to avenge this supposed death that we know didn't happen because he was he's been off living in the woods and I've, I've seen people say well if Jason died as a kid how is he a full-fledged adult now well because he didn't die <laughs> I don't see what's so hard to grasp grasp there he didn't die you don't die a child and come back a grown man I've literally had someone tell me how do you die a child and grow back come back a grown man uh, I don't know. He didn't die. He he didn't die. He he wasn't a zombie or at zombie status until after part four. So this this boy didn't drown. I, I thought I was the only one who understood that he didn't drown. But apparently there's a lot of people who think that this boy died and came back an adult. <laughs> but what do you guys think about what is possible for Victor Miller? Would you want to see a series like that or a movie that's a sequel to that without all of the things you know and love about the Jason person as we already know? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. I'll leave a link to this article as well down in the description. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.